here at Disney in LA. If you've never been here before, there's two Disney parks, Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Park. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through Disney California Adventure Park, showing you some of my favorite things. Just inside the entrance to California Adventure Park is Buena Vista Street. I suggest you arrive early in the day while it's not too busy. On Buena Vista Street, there's plenty of live entertainment, including character meet and greets and live shows like the Red Car Trolling Newsboys, which features Mickey Mouse. My first stop was a shop to get my rainbow mini ears. Grab a map and a time sky to help you plan your day. Make sure you don't miss the parades at Disney Parks, they're the best. Alright guys, I've got my Minnie Mouse ears, they're pretty cute and I've also just grabbed them out. Now the first place we're going to head to is the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and here we go! Before you arrive at the park, go to the Disney website or app and work out which rides or attractions you definitely want to see. Many of these have fast passes and this is a great way to save yourself time waiting in lines. Fast pass stations are usually near the entrance of rides. You scan your ticket and it will tell you what time to come back to the fast pass entrance so you don't have to wait as long. If you're American, you can do this on the app, but as an international guest, I couldn't do this yet. There are around seven different areas of Disney California Adventure Park. At the end of Buena Vista Street, if you turn right, you'll find Grizzly Peak, but I suggest you turn left and enter Hollywood Land. Hollywood Land is where you'll find the animation studios where you can meet Elsa and Anna and learn to draw Disney characters in the Animation Academy. The Guardians of the Galaxy ride is also here and you don't want to miss that one. In Hollywood Land you can also meet superheroes like Spider-Man, Captain America and Thor. Check your times guide so you know who'll be visiting, where they'll be and what times they'll be there. Okay guys, if you are a Frozen fan like me, make sure you check out Frozen Live at the Hyperdome where you can see all of your favourite characters live on stage. Next, you'll enter a Bugs Land, then Cars Land where you can meet and have photos with your favourite Cars characters like Lightning McQueen and grab a bite to eat. Nearby in Pacific Wharf, there are plenty of dining options too. You can literally eat your way around Disney California Adventure Park and never try everything. So this morning we had breakfast here at Flo's VA Cafe, which is amazing. I had fruit salad and Dave had some kind of breakfast cake, which was delicious. It's also coffee and at any of the restaurants, you can ask for free ice water. So you need to keep hydrated when you're in Disney because, you know, it's really hot here in California. Follow the path along and you'll reach the beautiful Pixar Pier, which opened in July 2018. This was my favourite area. You can meet Pixar characters and there are so many amazing places to get photos. The new Incredicoaster is here at Pixar Pier and Ariel's Undersea Adventure. Now when you come to Disney Parks, you're not allowed to dress up in costume if you're over 14. So I have done a thing called Disney Banding and that means that I'm dressed in the theme of my character, which you might guess is Ariel. <laughs> There are so many incredible rides and attractions here, you'll never be able to do them all in a day. The Disney website is a great way to help you pick things which you'd like to do. So today I've been on the top three at Guardians of the Galaxy and the Incredicoaster, which was insane and was amazing. And also the Radio Springs races. They're my top three picks for um, rides at Disney. Also I've met a bunch of characters, Elsa and Anna, I freaked out a little bit because they were so cool. I came to the animation studios in the afternoon which was perfect because it's air conditioned so I could cool down and relax. The line to meet Elster and Anna in the afternoon was pretty fast too and the animation academy drawing sessions are every 30 minutes. Um, anyway we're just about to have dinner um, at their wine country tutorial which with the package that we got includes reserved seating for the paint the night parade which happens later on tonight. Okay, so now we're getting ready for the Paint the Night Parade. It's going to be amazing here at California Adventure Park. It's the only parade that they have today. I'm super excited. We're in the reserved area, which we got from dining at one of the restaurants, so I highly recommend. 
recommend that. And also, one more thing, people start lining up for, at 8 o'clock. So get in early, get a good spot. You don't have to be in a reserved area to get a good spot. But uh, make sure you can get a awesome view of this parade. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to my channel. I'm Tracy. See you later.